subscribidores. Don't worry, this won't be a Spanish vlog. I feel like uh, Spanish vlogs have to be um, stick to eye message. Very um, niche market, the Spanish vlog. Um, so it's the middle of the day. I've been to the market, of course. What day is complete with our trip to the market? Got lots of bones, got some meat. Uh, guess what? No apple dumplings. Fucking... There was people in there still building. She only has like, she has them in a pie warmer. That's how she's always had them. She's been at like a little trestle table with her. I don't even know if that's the right word, trestle table, but it probably is. That's sometimes what I call my dog, trestle, just for fun, um, bit of a laugh. Anyway, so she has a, a pie warmer on a trestle table. Why has she not just got that out the front of where her little stool's gonna be? It's, uh, it's making me really annoyed, but she really has the power here because I still want them. Like, I'm not gonna be like, well, fine, I'll go buy apple dumplings from somebody else because I can't, it's not an option. Um, but boy, when she has them, uh, I wanna give her a piece of my mum, but also I don't want her to ban me. It's so tricky. Um, took the dogs for a walk, did the whole couldn't find a bridge thing in a completely different place. But riddle me this parked, crossed the river straight away, somewhere I hadn't really been before. I thought I was where I'd been before, but I was just confused. Anyway, crossed the river, did the whole walking around thing, came to a street that you could cross back over and then was coming down the other side of the river, but wasn't on the other side of the river, still had to walk for ages and then cross a bridge. I'm sure it was the same river. Um, and they don't mark them on Google Maps, doesn't have the um, bridges marked on there. So I thought I was going to have to go even further and I was like, oh shit, I'm not, this is going to take me like four hours. I'm not going to get back to work in time. But it only took an hour, I was just freaking out for no reason. I'm such a time, I've got time paranoia. Feels like three hours goes past and it's been like 12 minutes, which is why I've always got raw food going on. That's not true, I was just saying that too. I can't even lie on the vlog. I'm going to start trying to tell lies, one lie on each vlog, and then you guys see if you can work out the lie. Not on this one, because I'm not, I haven't planned enough. Um, I did see a lady let her dog poo on the street, like on the actual street. Uh, and she was old, and she was pushing one of those old lady trolleys that young people can have too, but that all old people have. And she was walking to get fruit and veg. Well, I just, I assume that's what. The heavy, you need a trolley for that. She'd been getting eggs, she could have been getting all sorts of stuff. Let her dog poo, saw it because she was behind the dog, so she saw it poo. She kept walking, and I was about a block back from her, but I was like, I'm gonna catch up to this bitch real quick. I reckon she would have been 70s, in her 70s, just hadn't aged well, and could have been early 80s. I'm not good at um, aging age identification on the elderly because it depends if they've lived a good or a hard life. Um, like me, aging really well, look, probably early 20s, late teens, early 20s, most people would think. Um, and then I've taken on quite a lot of responsibility having two dogs at such a young age. Um, uh, so ran after her, I had lots of poo bags on me, had one out ready, and I was like, excuse me, excuse me, and I think she knew I was coming because she didn't turn around, and I swear she was bustling a little bit quicker. And then I said, you have to pick up your dog's poo. And she was like, oh, but I am so old. She actually said that, and I was like, you know, that's that's not gonna fly with me. That's what all old people say. It's the oldest trick in the book, because it's the old person trick. And she was like, I can't do it, I am so unwell. And I was like, you're not that unwell, you're walking to the shop, you're taking your dog out, you can bend over, because I just saw you earlier touching the wheel of your trolley. So you tick all the boxes, you meet the criteria, pick up your dog poo. And she was like, I can't do it. And then she pushed past me and I was like, you are a bad dog owner. You're a, almost a bad person. And then I was like, oh God, did I just go too far? And what I was thinking is I should have just picked up the poo and then I wanted to, I should have thrown it, like tied in the bag, of course, not just throw poo at it. But then I should have just put it in her trolley and walked off. Um, and that's what I'll do next time. I sort of wanted to like, keep going. I don't live anywhere near that neighborhood, uh, but I wanted to keep going back there and waiting for her so I could do that, but um, that seems overly vindictive, doesn't it? But I felt I felt good about it. Should I? Comment below. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe to see more of these videos. Um, oh, Chachi got his new thing. 
So there's the uh, gay marriage plebiscites coming up, guys. Never heard the word plebiscite before this. Um, so I get to vote on it. So if anyone wants to buy my vote, I'm available to the highest bidder. Uh, Australians only. So that's me, of course. Uh, so I thought a rainbow would be nice for Chachi. He lost as one came off and then I found it, it was just outside Put it in the pocket of my jacket. I was like got to get a new hook for that And then I was just pulled it under my cone threw it away One of my friends was saying she was like, oh, I lost my card. I'm sort of getting becoming like you and I was like, excuse me. I do not lose things and then I was like, ah oh, fuck. I've lost my lip balm like literally same time same minute and then I was like, oh, I lost that and I, then I started thinking about all the stuff I've lost and I was like, damn, I do lose a lot of things. I just like choose to pretend that didn't happen. Um, so I put this on his collar, but he's got a microchip. Um, and I think this is easier than getting him. It's got my phone number on the back. Uh, it's easier than someone taking him to the vet or like having to pay. I, you have to pay so much if they get picked up and taken to the pound. And then I reckon that's how I ended up with Chachi because he wasn't fixed or microchipped or registered or anything um, before I got him. So it would have been like, it's like $400 a night or something crazy. So his old owners, like, I, I was told he would surrender. They said they didn't want him. But it could have just been that they couldn't afford to keep him. Like, good, more power for me because such a good dog. But that's a little bit sad if they loved him. Seemed like he hadn't. Been like, oh, oh no, nah. he's a little bit of a he's a bit needy, but maybe he's always needy. I guess we'll never know until they learn to teach dogs to talk. I've tried, I can't get a word out of him. Um, clammed up like a shell, that dog. It's very, he's put up walls, huge emotional walls. Um, anyway, I better go do something, anything. Can't be bothered. I vacuumed the floor because it was actually there was a rug of hair and it's my dogs I can't and my hair like there was a rug of my hair in the bathroom and my dogs hair all over the house we're both mol we're all molting at the same rate except for my hair so much longer and they said if you sh someone was like if you shave the dogs even if they're molting they don't molt as much so I was like wouldn't they just molt tiny little hairs would that be better or worse I don't know and then I was like well, maybe it's the same for him shave my hair I'm not gonna shave my hair as much as I don't give a shit I still couldn't shave my head. Ah, it's a tricky one. I shouldn't worry about it. It's not, I don't have to. Um, anyway, so plebiscite coming up. The What's the summary of this vlog? There's a plebiscite. Don't know what plebiscite means, but um, it's weird that I get a say. It's weird that everyone gets a say in that, isn't it? And whether people can get gay married. Like, I don't get a say in whether people can get hetero married. I feel like I should. Maybe I'd vote no. If someone was willing to pay me enough. Maybe we should abolish marriage. Now there's a crazy idea. Okay guys, uh, look after yourselves. Farewell.